Hello friends, Stickman Pat here. Welcome to another Dirt Report. Today we're talking about the NBN upgrades. The two gigabit speeds are here. I've signed up, I've received the single port NTD. I'm gonna share with you the installation process and of course, the speeds. We're gonna talk about what you need in regards to your router, even cables and your computer to get anywhere close to these speeds. So make sure to like and subscribe. Let's roll the intro and get started. First off, let's talk about the new plans. We've got two gigabits down and 200 megabits per second up. That is the lowest of the highest tier plans. And then after that, we've got two gigabits down again, pretty much locked down to that, but 500 megabits per second up, which is pretty insane. Like that's a big bundle and it's not cheap. So Lawntel is my service provider and they've laid out a really nice blog post about what to expect in your upgrade. But I think what the most important part is, will it cost? No, if you want to get the single port NTD, the two gigabit version, it is free to change over. However, if you are gonna get the four port NTD, that is where there is a cost. There could be a cost of up to $300 and that is laid out right here. If it is a completely new fiber install, it's only $110. If it is a transfer from the one port NTD to the four port where only one service is active, it's $300. But if there's a premises where there's multiple services active, it is free. I'll put the links below to this blog. If you want to sign up to Lawntel and get credit, make sure to use my code below. Which leads us really well into, well, what about this new NTD? Well, it's a lot smaller and I'm happy to report it looks a lot nicer and takes up a lot, lot less space. It still has a cover or protection for the fiber optic cable, so your kids can't get into it and you obviously can't break it because if you start bending it, it will break. It does require a technician to replace it and you will have two extra new holes in your wall, depending obviously where it is, because it's a completely different frame and it has to get mounted to the wall and it's not the same as the old one. The old one was quite sizable. What's also really interesting is we knew about this before, but it does sip a lot less power, which is fantastic if you've got a UPS under your desk and if you have a home with a battery. So overnight, that's one less thing that's gonna suck up all that juice in your battery. Now, let's talk about hardware. So now that you've got your new NTD, it's beautiful, it's pretty, it's modern. What about the hardware after the fact? Well, from the NTD, you have to connect it to a router. So I'm gonna talk about the cables. Get yourself some decent Cat6 cables to go from at least the modem all the way into your router. Keep that run short if you can, but that cable to the router is the most important part. But if you wanna achieve two gigabits per second down, your router needs to be capable of it. Most routers that are very modern and rather expensive come with at least one or two 2.5 gigabits ports. And usually they support the actual WAN or the NTD going into that one. So we can distribute that speed across the rest of the gigabit ports. But some routers like the one I have here, a little bit more expensive, it does have a 10 gigabit port and many 2.5 gigabit ports. So all the ports in there have at least 2.5 gigabits connections. So after that, you need to connect it to a computer or a laptop with an adapter that is capable of a 2.5 gigabit speed. I have an adapter that is a USB-C to ethernet and that in itself is 2.5 gigabits per second and I've tested it on my laptop and it works perfectly. You, you get the full speed. And if I look at my computer, who's also connected to a Cat6 cable to a 2.5 gigabit port that is directly on the motherboard, it is getting the full same speed as the adapter. I didn't really notice any performance degradation between the two types. So I wouldn't really worry about it, but you will only get those speeds with wired connections as of at the moment. Now, before we get into the speed test, I wanna share with you the capabilities that Lawntel has, apart from the fact that they charge by a daily rate, so you could bump up and bump down how much speeds you get. So when the relatives come over, you can reduce those speeds as mentioned. Now, they also give you some a charting of how much usage is on your CVC, but one of the really cool things that they provide is quality service for the line itself. Not at the router, but at the line or the NTD side. And that is pretty interesting because what you'll notice is in here we've got a download limit of default, which is set to 2100, so 2100 megabits per second. And your upload is set to 
475 megabits per second. So the plan I'm on is 2000 down and 500 up. So technically speaking, by default, Montel has put it on those limits, but you can overwrite this to utilize the full thing. But look, 30 and 100 more in download, I don't think it's gonna matter much. And let's get into the speed test because Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm seeing these speeds in Australia. I know NBN was going to get there one day, but I was pretty disappointed that they were just going to go to gigabit speeds, but at the time it made sense. Now we're at two, wouldn't be surprised we're at three or five in the next couple of years, but for now we're at two. So here it is my friends, two gigabits per second down and 500 megabits per second up. Whew. <laughs> It, it's powering through. 1940, that's, I mean, that's as close as you're gonna get. That's a couple of percent off 2000, and they've over-provisioned on the download side, which is interesting at 2100. Let's have a look at the upload. 465, provisioned at 475. Impressive. I can upload this video super quickly. <laughs> oh, this is so nice to see. I, I love it. That is, that is an impressive speed you can get in your, to your home, a residential home. But I will say I am still, still really kind of upset that we can't get symmetrical speeds on residential lines. I know you can get them on business and yes, it costs more, but I would love 500 up, 500 down, or even a gigabit down and up. That to me makes a lot more sense because more and more of our systems require upload because you are doing actions, you are clicking on the web page, you're loading stuff, or you're on a video call, or you're uploading your files. Those things are what's taking a lot longer and what is slowing us down. Downloads, they're so far ahead, they're in light years ahead, but uploads have not really caught up. And these uploads feel like they're very expensive for what they really are, but, Big thanks to NBN. I will recognize that the fact that they've upgraded a lot of people already in the last couple of weeks, that is something they should receive kudos for because most of those upgrades were with no price increases and they received more downloads and more uploads because it's just such a, an expensive price for what we get compared to the rest of the world. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to Lontel for organizing this so quickly. Within a week, I had an NBN technician out here, uh, smooth as butter, but I actually did follow the, the normal thing. Like I did sign up through the website and so on and NBN Tech came out. Great guy, thank you very much to him for spending the uh, evening, actually afternoon there with us for 20 minutes. It was a very quick install and big thanks to you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you in the next Dirt Report. There'll be plenty more, lots of things to talk about. I've got a couple of routers to review, so if you're interested in that, you can subscribe and get notified when those videos drop. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you another one. Bye!